Good morning. Welcome to the channel. We're at it again. And by the end of this video, I want the water hooked up into there. But the first thing we're going to do is hook up the electrical for the dryer. Uh, we are going to cut the new vent. Yeah, there's one in the wall, but I went ahead and bought a new one. Now what I'm going to have to do, since I don't have sheetrock up, is I'm going to take a small square of sheetrock. I've got several pieces, and I'll just cut out a piece. That way it's sized right when I go to put the sheetrock up later. Uh, I don't have a hole saw that big, so I'm just going to cut it out with a jigsaw as close as I can get it. That's probably, I think that's what I did there. But that's a giant hole there. I don't know. And so what we need to do today... Uh, when I go to hook up the water towards the end of this video, I'm just gonna that is a shark bite fitting I pop it off uh, Those should just wire up real easy or attach real easy the blue I'll run the red through here Elbow down to this one. I want to try to get away with as many uh, a Few fittings as possible so I should need but one there with the with the cold and the red one I'm hoping as well so we're gonna get the electrical done first I got to go out in the shed and pick out a, a piece of wire and then wire it up in the junction box put the lid on it all that good stuff but uh, before I bring in the dryer I'm gonna take it outside pull the back off take the blower to it blow it out really good make sure there's no lint built up in there so we're gonna do that maybe today I don't know but the focus is get the electrical done and get the water connected now I'm gonna take off these shutoff valves this one and this one and where the water drops down in the dog apartment I'm gonna attach these two because I want the option to be able to shut off that water in there and leave on the water to the rest of the house they're just nice to have I've already got them so I might as well use them uh, we get these really really cold days you know I do got that span going in between there that's out in the elements and I'm going to wrap that in that foil uh, insulation as well. But I want the option to shut that off and drain it. That way, uh, you know, if we do get freezing temperatures, there's no water in the lines. All right, man. Hang around the end of the video. Let's see how far I get. I ain't making no promises. I'm getting a late start. These, these winter days, I'm not even getting started until 10 o'clock in the morning, maybe later if I go to town. I did not go to town this morning, but... Man, I slept in till 8 o'clock. That's unheard of. I never sleep that late. But we're getting started now. Here we go. All right, we're out in the shed. I'm looking for a piece of wire. Huh? Got that piece. That's a bit long. Got a piece there. I'll bet you that is just about as long as I need. Yep. Now this is 10-2 south wire. Uh, it can get wet. This is what you bury underground. So I, like I said, I had a huge roll of this. So I'm using it where I can. I still, <laughs> there's more there. And I got some there. It's stashed everywhere, man. I had so much of this. Uh, so we're gonna, this is, should be plenty for what I need. I'm gonna inspect it, make sure there's no nicks. But stripping this stuff is very hard because it's, it's individually wrapped each each wire so it's good stuff all right let's go in there and this is the new thing with libby apparently now after eight years of being in here at night she's afraid of the dark now that is not a solar light that is one that's powered by batteries it'll stay on six hours and it goes out well last night after it went out she threw a tantrum once you get back in your doghouse, it's too cold to come out. It's too cold. I got new pine shavings stuffed in her doghouse. She loves it. Millie, Millie's afraid of them. She wouldn't get in there. But Tilly was in there this morning. Now let's check on you guys. Huh? Drinking you there, miss. Look at you guys. You ain't even got out of bed yet. You ain't even got out of bed. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, all's well. All right, man. Y'all hey, quit getting me sidetracked, man. I got to get to work. <sighs> All right, let's get some rules straight. Especially for you, boy. 
I'm in here to work. Now I'm eating no trouble. Are you hearing me? It is 60 degrees in here, guys. It's 32 degrees outside, and it is 60 degrees just from that little guy, and I don't even have it on high. I've got it on a little past medium. That is a wonderful little heater for rooms like this. We had one of them at the ranch, and that's why I bought that particular model, because it kept that little uh, medicine room we had there warm. All right, so today, I got that wire there. Gonna wire from the junction box. I gotta go look for another one of those clamps. I've got one. That's what kills my day, is looking for stuff, man. <laughs> when this is all done, yeah, we're gonna organize, I hope. I did somewhat, but not much. I still gotta get the two by fours, or, or sturdy this up a little, that's very cheesy. And uh, here's what I'm talking about. We're gonna cut the valve, or cut these about right in here. Put the valves, actually I'll stagger them. So one's lower and one's the other, so they don't run into each other. And the dryer vent is probably gonna go behind this deal. I don't know, probably, I gotta look on the dryer to see where it's at. I think it's about right there. So we'll put it there. I may have needed to put this, eh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. We got plenty of room in here if I need to move things around. You know, I could even put the dryer on the opposite side of the, nah, I don't wanna run that much wire. All right, man, let's get going. All right, well, don't stay out of the way, boy. All right, got to feed the wire through. Little tricky spot here. <clears throat> don't need a lot. Oh, this stuff's tough. I did find another one of those clamps right off the bat. So that's a good sign for the day. All right, now that that's through, I got a hole drilled here. We're gonna run it over there. Wire that up, put the cover on. We done with that part. All right, get that all wired together. Uh, double check, make sure I got these tight. Boy, that wire is so hard to strip. All right. <clears throat> Get in there. Uncle Charlie was mean. If I had an old goat yelling at me like that all the time, I'd have ran away from home. I'd have never come back. Yep, yeah, that darn Ernie. He just, he didn't see what was going on there. I did, Uncle Charlie. Ah, I'm Uncle Charlie. Ah, that's how he talked. That's to run it through the wall. I think we're gonna do, well, yeah, we'll get the dryer cleaned out. I don't know. Let's see what we do next. Now tell boy, let's get your chair out of the way. Got it. 
Okay, the wires run through the wall. I've left me enough wire. So if I need to pull this dryer out, I can pull it out a good several feet, get behind it. Uh, there's plenty there. Now, a few people have asked with good reason, why are you putting electrical next to plumbing? You can't do that. Well, I'm doing it. That is south wire, as I said before. You bury that in, you can just use that as an electrical line on poles outside. It can take water, okay? And the only place I would see ever having a problem would be at those elbows, if that were to burst, okay? If that happens, yes, that wire, you know, is there. But I'd be more afraid of this outlet, of it dripping down on this outlet. But it should throw the breaker but if not you know but that's this stuff does not burst okay i don't know what the test is on the pressure but it's not supposed to burst i know i've had it froze uh, freeze solid it doesn't burst it's not like pvc this pex is tough stuff it will freeze but it will not burst so when i turn this water on for the first time i am going to turn the breaker off just as a precaution because i don't know if those fittings hold yet i don't know if any of them hold i'm going to put my valves on first and i'm going to do them one at a time i'm going to open them a little bit at a time i'm not going to open them full blast you know find out hey your tool wasn't calibrated the way you thought it was and all of them start gushing water we're going to do it one at a time and uh let's see so we're, we're wired for the dryer now this i didn't even realize i did this uh, this is, I'm going to have to unwire this outlet at a later point and get this into the wall too. I'll do that before I put the sheetrock on, but that won't be there as well. Okay, man. I know. And you know, let me say this. Don't do things the way I do them. I don't have any, I don't have any building codes out here. I can do things any, any way I want, but I am using my brain a little bit. I would not do this with just regular house wire. Uh, this is made for outdoors and actually this is what i bought to wire it's buried for the well pump all the way out to the well there's like 150 feet from the well house to here so that is what that wire is made for each one of these are individually wrapped and they're waterproof nothing's proof nothing's this but i'm careful all right i'm trying the best i can all right here we go let's get busy i got time to talk to you i just ain't all right, I got this thing stabilized real good. Just took a couple of one by fours, put them behind there, put a few screws through them. You know, wouldn't do it this way if it was inside a house, but you know, this is gonna look all right when it's done. It's still got the insulation to go on it and the sheetrock, so it'll be flush with the wall. It's all we need, man. It's all they're supposed to do. But uh, yeah, that's a cheap one. I should have bought that and you know went and picked it out in person instead of getting it on Amazon. As long as it works okay i've got to i don't know to do that now yeah I, I, I can't bring the washer in i'm gonna have to see what i can find for a drain pipe i don't even know if i got i know i got pvc glue i don't know don't know if i got the elbows and all that we'll have to go see all right i didn't realize that was two inch pvc so uh last week i had bought that piece of that 10 foot piece of two inch uh, electrical pvc it's the same thing it's just a different color that's the only difference and that was 35 bucks for a 10 foot stick but i don't need it for anything else but i don't have any elbows so we're going to skip that today i'll go to the hardware store tomorrow pick up what i'm gonna go out there and figure out where i want to route the drain line uh but that's about as far as i'm going down give it some good drop and we'll elbow it out and probably immediately elbow it there's really no good place to go with it except on the side of the house but i mean they don't put out put out a whole lot of water that is it's not going to flood the house so let's drag that dryer out right now actually let's let's go tap into this water let's get this water hooked up then we'll get the dryer out clean it out uh so let's uh let me go shut the water of the house off and disconnect uh those lines up there all right, the water of the house is cut off, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain whatever water's in here. This is convenient. Not much. I opened the sinks first. I'm 
Why do I hear water dripping somewhere? Oh, it's coming out of the sink. Okay, got the sink open. That's good. I'm having one heck of a time with the neighbor's dogs coming over here. It is just epic proportions of craziness. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and drain this hot water as well. Let's get y'all over here. Yeah, we're gonna get a little water spilling. I will not melt. All right, now I'm gonna shimmy on up there and cut some lines, man. We'll bring you along when I get there. All right, this one here ought to be fairly simple. All I gotta do is cut it uh, right there, pull it back, and I, I don't need to put any kind of elbow. This This is pretty pliable stuff. And I'll just put a straight coupling there. Where are my cutters? There they are. Ah, let me get my bowl of water. Let me go drain this, guys. Okay. So I'm going to go up here. Uh, let's cut it up over here. Uh, this little step stool thing I bought. Awesome. All right. I'm gonna pull down on this so when I cut it, and I'll simply pull that out. Put a collar on it. Coupling in. I gotta go get my PEX tool, just showing you where I'm connecting it. Okay. Let's go. Right about there. Oh, good catch, man. Already busted out the band-aids. Right. Put the collar on it. And so I'm just going to join them there. And let me go get the PEX tool and I'll come back. I want to show you something about these clamps I'm using. Man, I love them. Much better than any other kind. Alright, let me go get the pet clamps. Alrighty then. Then, we got that piece on there. Let me get on up yonder. Rooster, you don't need to be coming into the construction, okay? That looks pretty. Put my glasses on. My glasses. They're from France. They're glasses. Hello. Yeah. I ain't saying nobody name Wendell. No. Now, hey, get off my party line, will you? Get off of it. Okay. Okay, Ethel. Goodbye. Let me clamp it. I like the clampets. Man, what a cool family they were. They just had it made. Oh. There we go. There's one. That's all there was to it. Now, I'm going to bend her. Yes, sir. Well, we don't even need to cut that, I'm pretty sure. Because, yeah, that's good. We won't cut it. 
Get another clamp. Clamp this. Cold water's done. Get on there, Mr. Couplin. Let's get you even with the other guy. Oh, oh I'm getting stronger, man. Fill my cell toids. <laughs> S-E-L-T. Cell toids. They're, they're getting better. All right. That is done. Cold water is done. What y'all doing way down there? Now, let me show y'all something. A little something, something. Come on up here. Get in my, get, get in my business. All right, these clamps are the best. Because if you want, if you mess up like I have several times, you can easily take these off. I don't know how well this is focusing. There's a little tab there, and all you do is you take a screwdriver and you lift up and release it from this. And the whole clamp loosens up, and you get, but you still have to cut this pex as close to the fitting as you can. Take a razor blade and cut it. This smashes them on there so good, you're not getting them off. But it's very, I mean, the old ones, like the, the solid ones I used, you have to cut them off with the grinder, and you risk the chance of uh, messing up the bit. So these pinch kind are the way to go. We'll know here in a minute when I turn them on and there's no disasters, and I'm predicting the future there's not gonna be. All right, now what I can do, this piece is free. I get my PEX tool. I'll show you how to take these off if you've never used Shark Bite. Shark Bites are cool. Well, let's lay that aside. Let's get hooked up on uh, whoo, the draft coming through right there. Yeah, I gotta get that foam board up when I'm done. All right, now we got the red, or the red, the hot. And it looks like, let me see. I think I'm going to, there's already a hole drilled, good. You drill a hole there, feed this through, and I'll go alongside of that one. And it's gonna have to have a coupling and an elbow, but it, it's not gonna go any other way. All right, be back. All right, I'm gonna show you how to get, get these pecs loose. The nice thing about them is you can remove them. Uh, this is what a pex removal, the shark bite tool looks like. Just a little old, you can actually make these out of a magic marker. And what it does is it slips over the hose like that. And you just push up and down. <clears throat> longer they've been on the harder they are to get off let me get my step stool get out of here water y'all gander at that for a second just gander at it i need to get some leverage <laughs> so in theory you're not supposed to have electrical in your way push down <clears throat> and pull and keep the water away from the electric and the GoPro. Aim it into the bucket. All right. Now I got this piece free, and that's how you do it. And if this comes out, this little insert, you just stick it right back in there. And you can still use them. Okay. Let me get this line hooked up, guys. All right, that one was just as simple. Uh, just put a uh, coupling there and used what I already had there. Ran that through the hole there. I drilled a hole and put it back in the one elbow. So very nice because the least amount of elbows and turns you have, the more pressure you'll have, the better the water will flow. Now the downside of using these, well, all the fittings are brass. Uh, it's a good idea, especially here. I don't, it gets really cold in here because the ceiling is open. It's not going to be long. Uh, it doesn't hurt to wrap those with something. And uh, anywhere you have fittings, especially if they're up in the ceiling like this. But I'm going to be putting, I'm going to be wrapping them and putting some foam in. Because that's usually the point where they freeze is right at the, at the elbows or the brass fittings because they will get cold fast. 
All right, so at this point, come here and look at me. Just come here and look at me a minute. At this point, the water is connected. I could go turn the water back on now. We should have water in there. What's left to do is I'm gonna cut in there and put those shutoff valves in. So let's go do that. And we're gonna turn the water on, don't you leave. Because if there's any, any waterfalls or something, you're gonna wanna see that. See how good of a job I did and what I do to fix it if it didn't. Although, I'm gonna teach you how to do this, okay? All right, which is on and off. On is up, we want it that way, okay. Very simple. We take, we cut. And we press it on. Now, I'm gonna cut that so it goes to about the bottom of there. Lily, are you in for this schooling? You are. And, and it's in. That's that, man. That is that. Now let's go up here a little higher on this one. Move these out the way so I got some slackage. Who is that? What are you chewing on out there, Lily? Ain't you past the chewing age? On, off. Clampage. There's, it's obvious when that's clamped. So, all right, so I'm gonna get this about there. Lily, what are you chewing on? She is not a chewer. <laughs> I hope that's Lily. All right, and then this one, take it out. Make sure that little thing's in the way. Push that down a little hair. And clip. All right, water on, water off. All right, guys, you know what the next step is. It always makes me nervous turning on power, turning on water, but I think we're good. So, at the very least, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to turn it... They ain't turning squat off. We're just going to turn it on. I got faith in these fittings. Yeah, my famous last words. All right, I've got you guys aimed right up there at the elbow. It's the only place I'm worried about right now. It will not go past this. So if it leaks, it'll be there. Here I go. Y'all give me a scream if it leaks. Here we go. You hear it? Psh! Cold water. All of these PEX clamps. Don't buy nothing else. You like, we don't know it's on. <laughs> We're going to find out where you want to be. You want the hot or the cold. Let's get you right there on that. Got to put this in your mouth. Yeah. Hot. Huh? Some pressure there. Well, I'll be dipped and dirty 45 times, guys. Something went right. Okay, I'm going to go around before I celebrate too young. Too young. Too early. If there was a leak, you would hear it for sure. 
All right, now let's go out to the back spigot. Let's check those dudes out. There we go. I can't tell you how nice this is going to be. I right, got the lawnmower right in the way. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Beautiful. We have water to the dog apartment. And now the dog apartment water spigot. Somebody laughed that I said that. What else do you call them? A faucet? It's a spigot. Look at that wall, though. Oh, I'm back into the 20. I'm back into the 20th century. Isn't that cool? What's it look like from here, guys? Oh, oh man. I didn't think I'd ever find a rest area. <laughs> See if you can hit that. Oh, get it, get it, get it. <sighs> they work. I love it. All righty. Oh. Let me dump this, boy. Most of the time they drink in that bowl inside. Right? All right, let's test it out. Oh, oh, oh. Works wondrous. Great pressure. Boy, why do you dig so much? Because you can dig it. That was a pretty easy job, guys, I might add. And it was actually kind of enjoyable when something goes right the first time. That's how it should be, but it ain't my first time. I've, it's my first time using those clamps. Oh, I love them. Don't buy anything. They don't cost any more. In fact, I think they're cheaper, but they're reliable, you know, and I put the link, I'll put it again to that whole PEX set. If you plan on doing PEX, buy it. And go to my website when you do. It's right there in the description as well. But you won't be, you won't be upset. Now I get rid of this contraption. Ah, oh, man. All right, guys. Hang on. And there we have it for the first time in nine years. All right, if you haven't subscribed, you want to do that, go ahead. Hey, looky there, my square. I was looking for that. Yeah, and uh, give me a like, give me a like, I don't care. We're gonna try to try to get that washer and dryer in here in the next day or so. I gotta go get some plumbing parts. But once we do that, we're, we're in business, man. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. Happy trails. Oh yeah. I did wrap that pipe. That's PVC with all the stuff in it. And I had one can of that foam left. I went ahead and packed it in there. I don't like that stuff, man. <laughs> Any gaps I found, I shoved that in. Man, that stuff's great. And uh, yes, I know mice could chew through it. I have not had that happen. So it must be some nasty stuff. But that is triple wrapped in that uh, stuff I used to insulate the dog apartment. So. I highly doubt that will ever freeze and again we're going to have this all closed in uh, I'm not even real concerned about having any storage but I might as well put on some kind of removable panel up there and I got all the uh, old washer drain pipes out I got the old dryer vent out hopefully I got enough foam in there yeah and uh, there was a little lint in there but not too bad so we'll see how much is in the dryer how much is in the uh, Thing. so now I can come in here and finish this up uh, it is not a priority whenever I get to it but uh, at least that's wrapped and it's not gonna freeze in there all right guys that just wouldn't be a video without Miss Tilly yeah she's turned into quite the love monster you gotta pet her constantly that one there gets a little jealous don't you rooster rooster yeah you is Kelly.